Hi, it's Lynn from Linny C Designs and today I am going to make a sympathy card along the lines of this one. I'm using the um, Flourishing Phrases stamp set from Stamping Up. Um, it's a whopping um, 18 image stamp set so it comes in two cases and it's got some lovely images and sentiments for quite a lot of occasions um, and it also has some matching um, framelits. I'm not going to use the framelits today but um, just the stamp set so we'll get on with it straight away. I'm using um, crumb cake, oh sorry I've already mounted my stamps and that's me knocked one of them over. Crumb cake classic ink I'm using one of the stamping markers, um, that's Blushing Bride. I've got the um, one of my one of the bend, blender pens. These come in a set of three. Multi-purpose my uh, trusted Tombow glue, some dimensionals, um, a little bit of the um, one of the sponges and I'm going to use the banner punch, uh, triple banner punch as well and other than that the card base is um, crumb cake to match the um, main ink that I'm using for the image um, I've got a matting layer which is half a centimetre shorter um, in width and length and then I have got a strip of um, card for the sentiment and that is um, just under four centimeters um, wide. I think that means it's an inch and a half. Uh, let me check. An inch and a half, yes. So uh, this is an inch, an inch and a half, and two inches. These um, the the sizes of the guides for the this. I'm waffling so I'll get on with it. Um, I am, um, I've already, as you heard me knock over, the large image. Now for these, I tend to, any larger images, I tend to lay down and then I take the ink pad to it. And I am just going to put that down in the centre of the card. Then I'm going to put the sentiment in crumb cake as well. Centre of that scrap. And then I am going to just go against what I said, but I only want part of the image to be covered. I'm going to stamp that off. going to stamp that over the sentiment that just gives it a nice little image there I'm going to do the same thing on the envelope bring that in on the corner there we go so the sponge just dab it in and then I'm going to run it along the edge just to Soften the edge and bring a little bit of the colour in. I think it gives it a, almost a vintagey look. Now, I only realised the other day when I was watching another demonstrator's videos, um, and I had one of those light bulb moments. I have been cutting up these sponges and stapling a bit of the match, uh, cardstock to match the colour that I've been using them with, um, which means that I have to buy more and if you use them with all your ink pads, as we all know, there, there's lots of lovely colours that Stamping Up does and they bring out new ones every year. Well the ink is water-based, so actually you can run these under the tap and rinse them off. And then you can, once they're dry, you can use them with any other ink. So uh, that's my tip for today. So I'm going to put that in right to the end. 
and it's nicely lined up, stamp it off and then I'm going to again come in with the sponge and just put a little bit of colour down on those edges. go it is horrible day here in the UK it is raining so before I'm just going to close that give that a little bit of a squeeze so that the ink goes down on the base and I'm going to come in with my um, blender pen pick up some of that ink and just color in some of those leaves just very lightly. blender pen and just I'm uh, sorry with the stamping white marker this is blushing bride I'm just going to color in those three flower heads just brings in a little pop of little pop of subtle color there we go shut that up so that we don't get anything in there. A little bit of glue. And you really only need a little bit of glue. Some of my ladies that come to class uh, struggle with the ink. And but once it's flowing it just kind of flows. You don't have to apply an awful lot of pressure. There we go. We'll put a few um, dimensions on that. Struggle to get those backings off there. And there we go. Quick sympathy card. So this is another version that I made um, that I showed you right at the beginning, and I used the leaves there. Um, I did a version where I used Sahara sand for the flower, and I actually painted the leaves with um, pear pizzazz, um, and I didn't actually put the sentiment. I just put that, laid that flat down there. And then this one is just using the leaves, which again, I think that's quite nice. Um, just gives you a variety. So there we go, with sympathy. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate everybody subscribing. There will be a link in the description box below to my blog where there will be full um, instructions. See you again soon for another tutorial. Bye bye for now.